Hello scientific minded people, welcome to yet another video by Pale Blue Thoughts. It has been really some time since I did any video on astronomy and this one brings in a great news for you. We have finally managed to click a picture of what is there in the center of our solar system. Yes, you would know that we have an immense black hole in the center of our solar system but this is the first time we have managed to click a picture of it. This and a lot more interesting details about the picture are in this video. Before you go further, why didn't you click subscribe and tap on that bell icon so that you would be notified of new videos from me. Don't worry, YouTube won't spam you with other videos if you click on my bell icon. You would have exclusive notifications of just my channel. So let's start today's show. On the 12th of May 2022, the Event Horizon Telescope released this picture of the supermassive black hole in the middle of our galaxy, the Milky Way. It is known as the Sagittarius A star because the center of the galaxy is in the same direction as the constellation Sagittarius. Earlier, we had only fuzzy images about what lay in the center of a galaxy, although we knew it was a black hole. Now, it was always difficult to take a picture of a black hole. Why? because the black hole has so much gravity that it even does not let the light come out of it. And you would know that we would need light from any celestial body reaching us so that we can see it. But now, with a superior telescopic technology using the Event Horizon Telescope, we have managed to resolve what is around the black hole and we managed to say cheese and finally get a picture of Sagittarius A star. Now this is the second time that we have clicked a picture of a black hole. The first black hole to appear on film was the black hole at the nucleus of the massive galaxy called Messier 87 which is about 55 million light years away from us. That black hole is 6.5 billion times more massive than our sun and it is 38 billion kilometers wide. What we are seeing is the light from the material orbiting the black hole and right in the middle is the shadow of the black hole where no light is coming out. To zoom in and actually take a photograph like that, you really need a huge telescope and that is where the Event Horizon Telescope comes into the picture, literally. So the Event Horizon Telescope combines a whole bunch of telescopes placed around the Earth to effectively create one giant telescope the size of the Earth. The bigger the telescope, the more details you can see on the sky. The zoom levels grow bigger with a wider telescope. Now this massive black hole is 4 million times the mass of our sun. However, when you look at the distance from end to end, it is just 116 million kilometers, just about the orbit of Mercury. Now this may seem as a big distance, but in cosmological terms, this is nothing. It takes light 27,000 years to reach us from the center of the Milky Way. That light traveling at 300 million meters per second took 27,000 years to reach us. Don't worry if you don't get the vastness using these numbers. This orange donut is just too far away for us to see using normal telescopes, period. So how did we manage to capture this picture? That is using a network of telescopes using a technique known as interferometry. So basically we align many telescopes that we have around the earth pointing to the center of the galaxy. I know what you are thinking, we don't have telescopes all around the earth. You are right, but we have something that helps us, the spinning of the earth. This allows us to fill some of the gaps that would be there because of no telescopes being present everywhere. And then we have developed algorithms that uses machine learning to fill the gaps using what we have seen earlier in the universe. But why are these pictures so blurry? Well, that is because to capture the very faint light that comes from the surrounding material requires for us to observe the area for days on end. And the swirling mass of material orbiting the black hole is moving close to the speed of light. And since the diameter of the Sagittarius A star is less than that of M87, the swirling mass circles much faster. It is a matter of few minutes before it makes one full circle. And since this is constantly changing, capturing this results in a motion blur that we all have experienced while shooting something moving fast. And since the M87 diameter is much bigger, it takes many days for the swirling mass of material to make one full circle and hence you can get a much clearer picture. That is why the astrophysicist has to create a special algorithm 
to overcome the motion blur effect. Now why are both of these orange in color? Well that is due to false coloring. What the telescope actually does is captures radio light and the actual image that would be received would be black and white. But the human eye is not very good at deciphering bright and dark objects when it is in monochrome mode. Hence the astrophysicist gives a black to orange false color so that we can identify brighter and darker areas of images taken of radio light. Another interesting thing is that the Sagittarius A star and the M87 black holes share very common features. That means it doesn't matter which galaxy it is in, black holes behave similarly. Another question that may pop up is why does the Sagittarius A star look like a fidget spinner with three bright spots while the M87 has only one bright spot? Well, those areas are called hot spots and that is where there are massive clumps of material which throws off more light than the rest of the areas. Also, since the swirl of the Sagittarius A star is much faster, these hot spots keep shifting their directions really fast. So what scientists do is that they average out the brighter areas leading to the Sagittarius A star looking like a fidget spinner. Black holes have always enthralled astrophysicists and anyone interested in astronomy right from the time it was suggested by Einstein in his general theory of relativity. We have made speculations, made accurate measurements and yet they kept themselves hidden from our eyes for a long time, until now. But as we make a progress using technology, we are now on the verge of opening a new chapter to understanding more about these curious things called black holes. I am sure with the help of the James Webb telescope, we can approach the black hole and observe and collect more data about what is surrounding the black hole and advance our understanding of the nucleus of galaxies. Indeed, we are on the verge of proving Einstein right once again. I hope you liked this episode. Do let me know what you guys thought about this episode in the comments below. If you would like to see more informative scientific videos such as these, please subscribe to this channel. And again, please don't forget to click on that bell icon. It's free and will enable you not to miss any videos. I will be back soon with another scientific or debunking video. Until then, it's bye bye from Pale Blue Thoughts and do not stop questioning.